Have you purchased a bulletproof oil cooler kit and then wondered if oil changes required anything extra? It's actually a pretty straightforward process. We'll go through it here. The first thing we do when we open the hood is to check the oil dipstick. At Bulletproof Diesel, we note the amount of oil, its color, and we even give it a sniff to check if there's any fuel in there, which can indicate other problems. Next, puncture the oil filter while it is still attached to the vehicle, using a screwdriver and a hammer. Be sure to have an oil drain pan underneath, and leave it there for the time being. If you have a bypass oil filter, puncture it using the same method. Underneath the truck, position a drain pan and then unscrew the oil pan drain plug. Be ready for an immediate stream of oil as soon as the plug is removed. Unscrew the oil fill cap to facilitate a full drain. In most cases, 16 to 17 quarts will drain from the oil system. If you are running our bypass setup, expect a couple more quarts to drain. There are various types of oil filter wrenches on the market today, and most will work with the filters used in the bulletproof kit. Be sure to keep your drain pan under the filter as you remove it, as more oil will be released. Clean any excess oil from the filter area. If you have a bypass oil filter, repeat the removal process at its location. We recommend changing the bypass filter every 10,000 miles, which equates to every other oil change. Priming the oil filter by filling it first helps to ensure the engine oil is distributed as evenly as possible during the first post-oil change startup. We also like to lube the filter gasket with a bit of oil to help create a proper seal as the filter is screwed into place. Again, if you are running a bulletproof bypass oil filter, repeat the steps on the passenger side. Next, reinstall the oil pan drain plug and clean any excess oil off the oil pan. Position a funnel at the oil fill tube and prepare to fill the engine with oil. Here at Bulletproof Diesel, we use 1540 diesel motor oil as recommended by the manufacturer. As you fill the engine with oil, check the dipstick periodically to help gauge how much oil is needed. When the oil on the dipstick gets close to the fill level, screw on the fill cap and then start the truck. Let it run for a minute to distribute oil through the system and purge any air, then shut off the truck. Again, check the oil level with the dipstick. If any additional oil is needed, add it now. Please be sure to dispose of your used oil properly. Check to ensure that the oil fill cap, drain plug, and filters are secured properly. And with that, the job is done. As always, if you have any questions, please call.